way and two thirds of the way up. So first of all, I want to thank you for coming out and hanging out in the store. I also want to highlight the fact that we've got four Model S Betas outside in the back and all the four different signature colors. It's really the first time they've all been together in the same place. So definitely take a moment to go back, check them out, sit inside and play with the touch screen. We're all here to see the Model X. This is our design prototype. So you're looking at the, the one and only Model X that exists in the world today. So it's a really kind of cool historic moment for all of us to be able to see it up and, up and close. Um, now, because it is a design prototype, you know, it's the only one in the world, and we want to make sure we can take this and, and travel it around and show other people, so uh, we, we ask that you be very respectful around the vehicle, and, and it is a little bit uh, fragile as well. So, we're going to go ahead and just kind of start in on, on really why the Model X exists, and a lot of people know that we've been building sports cars and sporty sedans, the, uh, the Model S is, is due very soon. And a lot of people want to know why we decided to build kind of a bigger car like this. Um, one of the main motifs at Tesla is this notion of kind of no compromise. And when we look at the market for the for SUVs and for minivans as it exists today, we see a lot of compromises and we see a lot of trade-offs. So we wanted to try and build a product that kind of fit halfway between both and accomplished all the, all the good things you like about both of those vehicles in one package. Um, when you, know, you look at minivans, and uh, not really exciting to look at, not really exciting to drive, but they've got the interior space that you really want when you have a big family and a lot of stuff. SUVs look a little bit better, tend to drive a little bit better. They're very big on the outside, but they don't have a whole lot of space on the inside. And so when we created this car, we made sure we put in seven adult-sized seats. So you can see it really does fit the whole family. And one of the very cool features is what we call the falcon wing doors. Now, a lot of you guys have heard of gold wing doors. You can actually see them on the, on the DeLorean right outside here. Uh, but there's an important distinction between gold wing and falcon wing. And there's a secondary hinge right here. Meaning that rather than kind of swinging outwards into the, the vehicle that, that would be next to you, these actually open directly up and then they kind of open outward once they're at full height. Meaning that if you're in a really tight parking spot, you're gonna be just fine. These kind of open right up, straight up. And the benefit of having something like this is kind of like having a sliding door where you have this very large opening on the side where you can kind of load things in really easily. But these kind of take it another step further and they raise the ceiling level such that you can actually stand up inside the vehicle. Troy's got two twins on the way and so he's gonna be bundling a lot of car seats. And being able to, to go directly at the seat rather than having to twist your body in and then turn around and buckle them in is really going to do wonders for his spine over the next few years. Um, also, the ability to kind of walk directly into the third row seats rather than kind of climbing over and punching down the second row. You can see all of the seats in the second row have kind of their own independent track and they fold independently. So very easy access to the third row. Now when you talk about compromises, a lot of time when you add a third row of seats, you trade off trunk space in the back of the car. If you've got an SUV or a minivan, a lot of times you have almost no trunk space when you have the third row seats installed. But in this car, because we have a very flat battery pack that exists completely underneath the car, and we have no engine, we have no mufflers, a lot of these components that exist on normal cars just aren't here in an electric car. So you can see that even with the third row seats, we have a, a really big trunk in the back. How deep is that? And then we're gonna go ahead and take it another step further, and it'll give you additional storage space up front where a normal engine would be. This is what's called the front. So the benefits of the front, obviously, you get more storage space, but if you want to put some valuables in the car, no thief is ever going to think to look in the engine compartment for your laptop. And we have an option on this car uh, that is a second motor right up front in addition to the rear wheel uh, motor that, that is like on the Model S and on the standard unit of this car. So you can have an all-wheel drive SUV, meaning that when you want to take and, and go up to the snow in Tahoe, you can kind of throw your dirty snow boots in the back and keep all your clean clothes right up in the front and keep them segregated in that way. There's a, a lot of really cool stuff going on inside the car, and because this is a design prototype, a lot of the information that I'm sure you want to know about pricing and range isn't completely finalized at this point. We're still moving through that design process, and so in the next few years, you'll see us move through the same alpha and beta prototype phases as we've done with the Model S, meaning that stay abreast, stay on the newsletter. As time goes on, we'll be able to solidify this information more distinctly. We've got, we know we're going to offer two battery packs, a 60 and an 85 kilowatt hour pack. And pricing should come in around the same price as the Model S. 
But that's about as specific as we can be at this point in time. Definitely there will be more information coming out later on. Um, at the same time, the car is actually very fast. We do know that with the performance option, your 0 to 60 time will be less than 5 seconds. So we're talking comparable to a uh, Porsche 911 in an SUV bike. Now, again, I want to remind you about the four Model S betas, and I want to keep this short. If you if you have any questions about the Model X or the Model S, find anybody at Tesla Apparel. We're very happy to answer your questions. We're going to be doing some more demos later on. Thanks for the time.